Hey kids, it's time for another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming with your host, Mortimer! KKG! KKG! Yay! Hey YouTube, it's Mortimer, and welcome back to another episode of KKG. Today we're going to be playing Animal Crossing New Leaf, which is one of my all-time favorite games. Uh, when this game first came out, uh, about two years ago now, I played it every single day. I was super addicted to this game. Uh, I just could not get enough of it. And then I stopped playing it one day, and then I felt guilty for not watering my flowers and talking to my people. So I just haven't played it since then. So... Uh, we're gonna be going back to my town today and seeing how decrepit it is and how terrible and I know there's a lot of QR codes on the ground that are messed up now and I can see plenty of weeds right now from the start screen. Uh, so we're just gonna go. I'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks on how to make your town the best town it can be and kind of give you a tour of my town even though it's kind of messed up right now. But let's see what we can do. Oh, uh, she's gonna... she's gonna tell me all kinds of mean things. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that date ain't right, right? Is it? Is it March 14th? It's March 13th. See, I didn't time travel like, at all while I was playing. Uh, but it's not 10.29 a.m. here right now. It's yeah, it's not that time to say that. <laughs> mm. She's scolding me. I love Isabel. She's adorable. I have an Isabel figurine on my desk. One of their Voltec ones. So you can like change all kinds of stuff. All right. So I have some serious bedhead happening here. Oh my god. I forgot how to put away stuff. It's been so long. All right. What's in my mailbox? Oh god. All right. So you guys can't see my bottom screen, uh, but no worries. I will tell you everything. So I got a letter from Tom. My birthday is on December 10th. I'm having a party at my place, and I want you to come. You better show up or else. Well, I bet he's pretty disappointed in me. All right, what else we got here? From Luca. Will you come to my birthday party on December 12th for me? It's sort of a big deal for me. I'm waiting to see you at my place. See you there. Shouting love, Luca. Sorry again. And then one from Annalise. Moving day has finally come. Uh, to be honest, I'm a little reluctant to leave this town and all of the friends I've made here, but it's time to move on. I'll miss you. Take care. Best wishes, Annalisa. Uh, and she was my ant eater in my town, but I'm not too heartbroken. My dream citizen in my town. Like if I could, if I could pick any character to be in my town, it would be one of the sheep. Oh my god, I have a thing for sheep. I love sheep. And I've never ever had a sheep in any of my towns. So that's that's like my wish list. I would love to steal one from someone else's town. Alright, well, as you guys can see, I have some QR codes here. I got some pumpkins, some messed up ground ones. I still have some flowers around here. Oh hey, how's it going? My nickname here is Bug, of course. All right, well, he didn't scold me, so that's good. All right. Well. I guess I should kind of give you guys a tour, huh? Instead of just picking weeds, which I can do anytime. All right, so we'll go to the front of my town. It's kind of a mess right now. All right, so here's a bunch of QR codes I put down. Let's head over. Okay, so this ex explanation point, uh, this is where I like to hide my pitfalls when I get them. There are none here right now, though, but uh, I probably trapped some people. And then here is my town square. Lots of missing QR codes from when we have, like, the psychic visit uh, and all kinds of accidents. Uh, and then I have a bunch of uh, 
or orchards all over. Here's my lookout point where I like to look out at the ocean. So peaceful. It's actually really peaceful. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't think I have anything back here. All right. What am I wearing right now? It's like a Christmas shirt, some black combat boots, and a black skirt. Alrighty. So... Uh, here is my, uh... My head office building. It's Japanese-inspired. You can change uh, what kind of facades you want, like if you want a fantasy facade or something like that, but... Uh, I try to do a different type of building for each building in my town. So you'll see a couple different architectural styles. Of course, there's a fire hydrant there because, I mean, you don't want Town Hall to burn down, right? Uh, more orchards. My police station. Uh, oh, and I have a power turbine here? Yeah. To get power for the shop. And, uh, over here is where I have, what's his name? The mole guy. There, you can kind of see it. Eh. Too many trees. Yeah, so, uh, that's his manhole cover. That's the security mole. What's his name? Rossetti? Ooh, he's terrible. Uh, and then there is my coffee shop. So cute. I used to have a cute little path one all around it, but it's gone. Here is my bell. I actually, uh, we just took a trip to Hawaii recently and uh, I saw one of those bells in person and did a slow-mo video on Instagram of me ringing it and it's, it was awesome. It sounds amazing. Those bells are so cool. Their sound is supposed to make an instant feeling of at peace with oneself and uh, it sounds really cheesy but they're really cool. Uh, Alright, so here's one of my other houses, because I have three characters in my town. I think this is Marilyn's house. All of my characters start with M. No reason why I picked certain names, just names start with M that I could think of. Another villager's house. More trees! I, if you can't tell, I love to plant trees, uh, because it's just like one of the easiest and fastest way to make money in your town. Um, and then I also like to trade different types of fruit with my friends for new ones that I don't have in my town and things like that. Oh, and there's a cute little butterfly. Uh, okay. What do we got? Uh, come here. No. Eh, I got you. No. All right. That's adorable. All right, back to what we were doing. Put that ish away. Ah, uh, here's my zen stone, because I'm so crazy about stuff like that. Uh, I think that's all that's over here. I have to start heading over the other side. God, you're still here? I don't like you. Ugh, leave. I, like, do everything I can to, like, make people I don't want in my town leave, and it never works out for me. Like, I'll leave pitfalls around their houses. I'll... Uh, dig up flowers that go around their house, all kinds of stuff, and they never ever leave my town. It's like one of the most frustrating things. I think I can go in Marilyn's house here. It's my cute little uh, sloth. All right. So this house is uh, mermaid themed. The outside of it, at least. So when I play Animal Crossing, I like to get. Uh, set crazy. I like to have every single item in every set ever. I like to have bunches of sets. Uh, I, my whole goal is to like collect everything in the game, if that's possible. And I'm super, super crazy about that. Uh, but I haven't been here for a while, so I have freaking cockroaches in my house. Gotta stomp them to kill them. Uh, so this is one room. Of course, all one set. I think this is the last house. I haven't finished expanding it yet. Oh, yeah. So this is another, this is the ranch furniture set, I believe, and the room's not big enough for it all. So I was just waiting until I expanded that room to move everything around. And let's go upstairs. And 
And this is just like the Plano set. I got some of my house wards, dinosaur fossil that I miniaturized. Bleh. Looks like I hadn't even finished that set. I don't have the wall and the floor in there. Some sets don't include the uh, floor and walls. Uh, and there's some sets that are just floor and walls and no furniture. So whatever. It's so boring if you don't care about this kind of stuff. But uh, I would get super OCD about it and I would... I would take my DS with me everywhere so I could get other people's villages and go in and buy stuff that they had that I didn't have yet. Alright, so uh, there's my clock. Check it out. Ding dong. Uh, water. Uh, hot spring, that's what it is. Uh, and then this is my other house, which is Chinese style. Let's go on in. I believe this house is finished. I think I've upgraded this one to the max. And once again, it's an all-set house. I have, like, every set that I can in here. Uh, okay, so this is, uh, of course, the Chinese room set. Oh, there's a cockroach in here. I can hear it. Come here. Eh. All right. So uh, I got, of course, my Lucky Cat. Switch or Japanese. Uh, but I have a samurai helmet. I have some, uh, some masks here from uh, kabuki shows, things like that. No masks. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of just like an Asian-inspired room. I have a, a frog. Hey, frog. Uh, let's go check out this room. God, I haven't been here in so long, guys. It's kind of weird. I was so into this. Uh, okay, here's another room set. Completed. It's a nice guest room. I love the little, like, ghosts that come out of the cockroaches. Do cockroaches have souls? I don't know. Oh, is that one a spider? Ooh. Well, I crushed it. All right. What's in this room? What set is behind door number two? We have the camping set. Uh, so that's the complete set, including all of the totem poles. And there's a cockroach hiding back there, but I can't get to him. Yeah, that set was actually really hard to get. Ooh, I, I am showing my nerd colors right now. All right, here is the blue set. Ew, and a cockroach. No, get out of bed. We gotta kill a cockroach. Ew. Uh, complete set blue. Including my degree on the back wall. What do I have a degree for in Animal Crossing? I don't know, decorating? Yeah, when you buy complete sets like this and fill your house up with all of uh, the same set in each room, uh, you get top honors in a Happy Home Association. They really like that because they're the people who come to your house in the game and they rate it. Uh, ew! Okay, uh, this is a future room set and I took all of these in and got them color changed to be blue and black. Except for the wall and floor, you can't change the color of those. This is like super 90s. I really love this room set a lot. I think it's really cool. But I got my laptop up here. I got a cool bow that matches the room. This looks like a cat tree, but it's not. I wish it was. But, uh, yeah, that's my future room. Of course, I got a little astronaut there with like the reflection of Earth in his helmet. But it's probably one of my favorite, one of my favorite furniture sets. It's not the favorite. Uh, and let's go downstairs. What could it be? I think this is my favorite room. This is the gothic room. Uh, and I freaking love that bed. Check it out. Oh my god, isn't it to die for? Ugh. I couldn't, I could have this bed in real life and I would be happy, I think. Uh, and there's my, uh, pet tarantula. Hi, buggy. And, uh, yeah, this is a complete set in here. I got the wall sconces, I got the vanity tables, and, yeah, this, this room is to die for. This is probably one of my favorite rooms. This is definitely my favorite furniture set. You can change the colors. Um, I change the colors to purple and black, uh, but there's, there's several different color variations that come with it, and, uh, they're all amazing. This is my favorite furniture set in the entire game. All right, but uh, I guess now we should just go check out my main house. Uh, and this was the first house I made. 
Uh, I only started expanding to other houses because I maxed out that character so hard. Uh, so let's go check out my main house. And there's just a random table. I don't know why it's there. Oh, it was a bench. It's not a table. Uh, it's an ugly bench, but that's a bench. All right, let's go. All right, so this is my main house. It's got pumpkins up front and it's a castle because it's freaking awesome. Got a cool wrought iron fence, you know, Adam's family style. It's, it's like the house I always wished I had. So uh, this is kind of like a room that personally I just decorated with things I like. It's not all of a set. These are all just different types of items. Ugh, a cockroach. So I got my little babushka set. I got uh, my gramophone. Some paintings. I think that was a fake painting, so my museum wouldn't accept it, so I have it in my house. I have a cool skeleton. Spooky. I really like the drapery wall. I have my uh, organ. My little birdie friend. He chirps. I think that's a bug catching trophy from a bug competition. Really cool apothecary thing. A pipe organ. A cow skull. Some gemstones, four-leaf clover. No joke, I pulled that four-leaf clover uh, the very first day of making this town in Animal Crossing uh, when I was playing as Mortimer. Very first day, I walked out, I saw a clover patch on the ground, picked it up, and there was a four-leaf clover inside. And that was like crazy good luck because uh, they're really hard to get, and uh, some people never ever get them while they're playing. So that was kind of cool, kind of a good sign. Uh, so this is my kitchen, and it is all pink. Uh, this is, uh, I think it's two different sets going on here. I have the, the checkerboard set, and then I have the lovely heart set back here. Um, but I also have these adorable bug chairs. I don't remember how you get them. I think you get them from the bug catching contest. Uh, and Barry got some, and he gave them to me. So I have those in here. They're freaking adorable. I want those chairs in real life. Aren't they the cutest freaking chairs you've ever seen? Uh, but I need the full set. I don't have the full set. And, uh, I got, of course I got a rotating sushi bar, because yum. Uh, and I got a pastry, pastry case back there, because who doesn't love pastries, right? Uh, and, you know, I got a washing machine. I got recycling, because I'm a responsible adult in Animal Crossing, man. I got my birthday cake when it was my birthday in the game. Yeah. Oh, and the bells only grow when you have a perfect town. I have those in here too. Because, like I said, I was a freaking nerd with this game. I played it every single day for like a year straight. Like, I was hardcore. Hardcore. Uh, but I haven't played. I, I felt really bad about leaving my town. So I could never came back. Uh, so this is my outside patio that's inside. I made a room inside my house look like it's outside. Uh, so I got a little watering fountain here. I got my nice little bench, birdhouse, water feeder, water feeder, bird bath, bird bath, and uh, barbecue set. So I just made the indoors look like outdoors here. It's pretty cute, I think. I don't know. I always like it when people do things with their houses that aren't normal. And I think this is the bathroom. Yeah. So I got a really cool shower. I got the limited edition moon vanity set that you only got by downloading it from a Nintendo location. Get out of here. Frick. All right. I got a toilet, but of course I took it in and had it colored black because that's a really cool color. I got a vent fan because, I mean, you're taking a shower. You don't want your mirror to fog up, right? Don't want to get too humid. Uh, I got the air conditioner in here. Uh, I got a bathtub and a shower, and I got more of those bells that only grow when your town when it's perfect. I got a medicine cabinet, stained glass of a burb, let me some burbs, makeup case, and uh, the sink set that oddly looks exactly like a sink set that you would see in an airplane. I didn't make it, but, uh, and I love that floor. Really love that floor. I would use it in all the rooms, but, uh, I have that whole set fanatic mindset, so <laughs> I can only use it in rooms that don't have complete sets. All right, and then let me show you guys my bedroom. 
dun dun dun. What does it look like? I don't know. It's been so long since I've seen it. Uh, all right. So this is my bedroom in here. I got all my body sets. Pretty cool. Uh, and this is a, just a Victorian house set. I got my dream catcher above the bed. Uh, got all kind. I got this complete set, furniture set in here. Got my laptop, letter writing set with wax seals because I love to use wax seals on stuff. Uh, some paintings. What is this thing? Oh, it's it's an eye vision chart. Yeah, it's super Japanese. In America, we have ones that are letters that you read from a distance. But in Japan, it's a, uh, you got to see where the gap is in the circle. So you'd be like down, up, left, right. Uh, and it's actually quite hard. Uh, but uh, we don't have those in America. I don't know about like in other countries like uh, England and, and, you know, places like that. But I think it's cool. That room's kind of medical themed. All right. And the last room is the basement. So let's see how it looks. It's been a while. Ah, not so bad. What is, is that a, oh, okay. I thought it was a mushroom. Uh, so this is a complete set once again, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is the weirdest floor and wall set ever, but they go with this furniture set. Like they're all one set, but it just doesn't match. I hate it. I think it looks really ugly. Uh, but I got a thermon over here because who doesn't want a freaking thermon in their house? Oh my God. I would love to learn how to play the thermon. I think it's the coolest. Uh, and then I have my sarcophagus, because it's pretty freaking cool. Uh, and this is kind of like an office. But, uh, but yeah, that's the tour of my house. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick tour. Uh, but this Cribs edition of Susie's Animal Crossing house is going to have to end here. And I'll have to see you guys again next time on another episode of KKG. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you want to see more Animal Crossing, let me know too. Uh, I can show you guys how to do the QR codes on the grounds and we can fix up my town a little bit and make it look as cool as it used to look. If you want to visit my town, I'm going to have the QR code at the end of this video so you can go and check out my town. Just do a screen grab of it and then upload it in your own town and come visit me and uh, buy stuff from my house if you want to. And uh, I'll see you guys all next time on another episode of KKG. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button. I have so many more awesome videos coming that you guys don't want to miss. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody.